Well, the facts are in. The Obama White House, through their surrogates at MSNBC, CNN, Al Sharpton, and others, are actually trying to create a civil emergency in the United States and what could become a race war. I've been watching this Trayvon Martin thing in the last month and seeing Obama, you know, coming out and saying, looks like my son, and Al Sharpton calling for civil disobedience, and Spike Lee, you know, twittering where somebody's house is, sending out a tweet. The new Black Panther Party saying, send in a 10,000-man group, arrest him. All these threats, Sharpton saying, do you want violence? Thank God the NAACP understands what's happening. The former head of it has come out and said this is going to create more division. It's incredible. Whatever really happened with Trayvon Martin, the system is using this as a giant diversion and distraction. Now, listen, if there is violence, people like Sharpton are responsible, and so is MSNBC. You know, MSNBC, Hardball has come and interviewed me in Austin, Texas, and all they ask me is, aren't you worried what you talk about is going to cause violence? And I'm talking about lower taxes, national sovereignty, ending all these wars, getting rid of the Patriot Act. And I'm like, no. And they're like, okay, well, when there's violence, it's your fault. You know, Nightline, all of them have said this. I never even talk about violence. Meanwhile, it's MSNBC race baiting. Every time I turn the television on or at the office studios, we've got four TVs on, different cable networks, and that's all any of them talk about. But the race baiting is so cartoonish under the name of trying to stop racism and division, they are trying to stir this country up because Obama can't give people free cars and free houses like he promised people he would in all those famous speeches when he was running four years ago. And so now it's just about, hey, let's hate Whitey. Listen, white people elected Barack Obama. And I'm sick and tired of hearing how I'm a white devil and how I'm bad. But that's a side issue. The system, the elite are trying to divide and conquer. They want to play the American people off against each other. It's that simple. And if you go back to Obama, when Odinga, his cousin in Kenya, didn't win the election, we've got those communiques that are public where Obama was telling Odinga, we'll just stir up you know, political riots and then they'll give you a spot in the government. And they did. They created a prime ministership for him. And so as we go into the election, as Obama activates the NDAA to secretly arrest Americans, as they get ready for civil emergency, as he changes the old defense acts in case we're hit by nukes, to say any emergency, including economic or the threat of an emergency, as he sets up all these control systems, I always thought of Obama as a pure puppet who would probably just amass power but still leave office, but the special interests would you know, still be in control. More and more it looks like he might try to cause civil unrest and do something with the election, maybe even suspend it. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it could. Undoubtedly, they're trying to start a race war. Even here in Austin, they're having big protests every day, and it's about how whites are evil. And, and, and the media, the big corporate media that when a cop shoots a black guy in the back, you know, says, says it's okay, is choosing to grab this and hype it up to get everybody at each other's throats. Let me show you a few of these articles right here. Look at this one. Civil rights leaders condemn Sharpton's call for escalated civil disobedience. That's the NAACP. That's, that's some good news. Uh, there's this incredible video here. MSNBC uh, has race baiting meltdown. Go watch it for yourself. It is unbelievable. That links up on Drudge Report from Breitbart. Al Sharpton's civil disobedience will escalate if Zimmerman remains free. They're saying, hey, you've got to arrest this guy because we say so or else. It's like a lynching. I'm sorry. I've seen the ABC News clip that hasn't gotten hardly any attention. It's one of the black neighbors from the neighborhood saying, no, I saw the guy with the hoodie on top of the guy in the red shirt beating him. And a bunch of other witnesses said this. The cops talked to all these people. This is in the police report for weeks. People have known this. But Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, just like with the lacrosse thing and Duke that turned out to be a hoax and a fraud, aren't going to shut up and aren't going to stop because they've got backing by MSNBC, the White House, Media Matters, all of them. They want to play us off against each other. This is Obama's re-election ploy to divert everybody and divide this country. I'm sick of limousine liberals who are a bunch of race-baiting pimps playing people off against each other and then attacking all their opposition as racist. All Drudge did was post a more recent photo of Trayvon not when he was a little kid, but a more recent one, and Media Matters called him a racist, scum, liar, and said it wasn't Trayvon. When it was Trayvon, they had to admit it later. 
I mean, these people are out of control. We need to live together in peace. Can't we all just get along? Because I guarantee you all this isn't going to cause that. Let's stop this race war now before it gets out of control. Okay, a race war could start over this. I'm Alex Jones, reporting for InfoWars.com. We'll cover it more on the radio tomorrow on the Sunday show and back on the weekday show. And again at InfoWars.com. Let's pray for this country. Let's pray for unity. Let's pray for justice, whatever really happened with the Trayvon Martin case. But we know it's not going to come from demagogue racists like Al Sharpton and their globalist controllers at MSNBC.